Part of the issue here is what caused a delay for Porter passengers in Boston for three days. They just got back this afternoon. And the other part of this is what are your rights as a passenger, including your right to be able to videotape an airline representative at the terminal? Check this out. Heavy uh, around you there. Flying last week, not easy because of weather. For Porter passengers marooned in Boston last Friday, an unpleasant experience. There was a problem with the latch door to the luggage compartment. Um, and then when that passed 10 o'clock, uh, apparently the crew couldn't fly anymore because it was beyond their shift work. And that, in their words, they would turn into pumpkins. Passengers were herded into the Logan Airport terminal for two hours. As you're waiting this line, you, you didn't have any information unless you happened to talk to another passenger who had already been to the front of the line. And then... People who were very frustrated with the experience, pulled out their phones and started videotaping their encounters with personnel. And at that point, the personnel came from behind the desks and started threatening us to call the police that if we don't delete the videos off of our phones and show evidence that it's gone from our trash bin, that they were going to have us arrested. Behind the security point, yes. it's a government authority. This is some of that video. Tell him to delete it. To okay, delete delete it. it. I did. Okay, he's deleted delete it from the trash. Passengers say the representative, wearing a porter badge, insisted and was firm in his threat. Did people delete the videos? Yes, uh, the personnel actually went from so, to the people that uh, were filming and to make sure that it was gone from their trash bins. Logan Airport told us there is no law or policy that prohibits filming inside Logan Airport except in secure areas or around security. And Porter admitted that when it responded to Global News, apologizing to passengers, saying there was a misunderstanding on the part of the Porter employee. It was very aggressive. I think it was taking away, really, from uh, addressing the needs of us as clients. I thought it was appalling. I, I mean, to me, it's a free society. You should be able to videotape in a public place, particularly when it's recording somebody who's being rude and unprofessional. This family came home three days later, along with other Porter customers. The airline paid for accommodations and some meals but the group missed work and were denied payment for other expenses. And the airline still blames the weather for its mechanical delay, a rationale used frequently to avoid paying cash compensation. I would say to passengers, know your rights, and next time you think about flying Porter, maybe think twice. Porter is sticking to its story that its mechanical problem in Boston last Friday was the result of the weather, and as such, that's important. They say that's because... Now they're not going to have to pay any compensation. And this happens a lot with airlines. The other point of importance here is you do, as a consumer, absolutely have the right to record an airline person at the gate and at the airport. You should, of course, do it politely, but you have a legal right to do it, and many people want to be able to do it so that when they follow up, if they have to sue an airline or take any other kind of complaint action, they have the evidence right there. Alan, back to you. All right, some good advice there. Thank you, Sean.